Dear viewers, we have been joined in the studio by our final guest for this evening, Ms. Tabassum Ali, the Toastmaster Area Director and a triple graduate in Commerce, Law and Education. It's a pleasure to have you with us, Ms. Tabassum. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's an honor and pleasure for me to be here on KTV2 today. Thank you. Thank it's you. our pleasure. To start off, let's start talking about yourself. Can you introduce yourself to our viewers? I'm a simple, happy-go-lucky kind of person. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the financial capital of India, the Bollywood. Mm -hmm. You can guess the name of the city? Uh, it's sorry, yes. It's Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Mumbai. I grew up in a very uh, plush background where I was involved into a lot of nature club activity and uh, I was an artistic child. Mm -hmm. But in college, my interests were more towards sports yes. where I represented university mm -hmm. for judo and handball and I did my graduation in commerce, mm -hmm. in law, in education. And um, after that, I worked for a blue chip company, Reliance, for mm -hmm. five years as a manager, which is uh, currently now the richest company in India. Amazing. Thank so I understand you. you were a working woman. What made you quit? Mm, what made me quit? Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually still working. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm working without a salary. Mm -hmm. uh, good question. There were basically two reasons. One was because my husband works for an airline and he has extremely hectic schedule of travel. Right. And secondly was my tough pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I had a, like, it took me four years to conceive. I had two miscarriages. And after that, uh, for my second uh, delivery, it was even more worse because uh, I had a kind of near death experience where yes. I saw some kind of visions. So life just so simply took over your career yeah, life, it took we over. could say. But then I did work as a mm -hmm. teacher for some years and now I volunteer my service into many many arenas into school, mm -hmm. little bit of social, uh, social work. That's amazing. I'm glad your uh, career is going as you would like it to be. So you're associated with the Toastmasters. Can you tell us about your involvement with them and what you do as a team? Oh, that's my favorite question and favorite topic, mm -hmm. definitely. I have been associated with uh, Toastmaster for the last three years. Uh, initially, when we joined Toastmaster, it is uh, we get attracted to it so hearing about some public speaking. But when you join Toastmaster, as the, the tagline goes, that it is mm -hmm. find your voice. I feel I found my own self in mm -hmm. Toastmasters. Yeah. It's we are into leadership and we are into communication. But what I felt, it is a wholesome educational program mm -hmm. that basically Toastmaster offers you. Yes. Now it is um, not a small organization. It's a century old organization. Right. It's spread into one for forty three countries, mm -hmm. having sixteen thousand clubs, and there are more than three lakh members who are there in with Toastmasters. Mm. And um, I'm uh, in Kuwait, there are basically, um, there are total uh, 70 clubs having yes. around 2,000 members. Which is a very big amount. Yes. Such so I amount. am area director and I did this year I'm in charge of around four clubs. And uh, yes, I'll be looking into the well-being of the members that they achieve their target mm -hmm. and I'll be organizing various contests into my little area. Yes. That's a pin it, for it. <laughs> it's amazing. And it seems that you are really involved with them and they're a big part of your life. So how has Toastmasters uh, changed your life or your personal life as a mother and a spouse? As a mother and a spouse, definitely uh, there are a lot of advantages. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, give a small incident. Mm -hmm. The other day my daughter was struggling to have a YouTube video transferred to an MP3 audio mm -hmm. and then have a slide made on PowerPoint. Yes. So um, I just went and within five minutes I did it. And she was like, uh, mom, you have not learned all this. How come you can manage? Yes. And that day I really felt so proud of myself that it's helping my daughter definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming to my spouse, I would say um, I have become a better listener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I don't argue with him. I give him positive feedback. Amazing. <laughs> Jokes apart. Uh, mm. I will encourage all the homemakers who are now that uh, this is a very nice platform. We all have that uh, shortcoming of like, you know, how mm. we can face the public. Come here. This is a platform where you can come, you can slip, you can fall, you can fail. Of course. And people will be there to applaud you and mm -hmm. to encourage you and take you ahead. So mm -hmm. I would really encourage homemakers that this is a platform which will grow you as a person of course like it will for just change you completely definitely like um, mm. we do a lot for our body and we invest a lot of money for a workout but we also need to invest something on our mind to build our self-confidence mm -hmm. so this empowers you in your self-growth and self-confidence of course and I think that's very important for everyone as a person and just in their career life and personal life definitely so I believe you have had so many achievements uh, with Toastmasters and won so many awards with them can you talk to us about more about that 
Yeah. Thank God, by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a child, uh, I must have won around 10 or 14 trophies and I always wanted to have a mantle piece which had a lot of mm -hmm. trophies and uh, thanks to Toastmaster that um, yes. I discovered some kind of hidden talent in me mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, give this few speeches like at club level I have won around um, we had this uh, okay I'll explain the backdrop of, of the course. speeches before mm -hmm. I get into it uh, we have every year we have this annual um, convention this mm -hmm. year it was held at Denver US yes and the next year it's going to be in Paris and uh, within uh, Kuwait, we uh, go up to the district level in four categories of speeches. One is international speech, which is like motivational speech. Yes. Second is humorous, which uh, should make you laugh. Third mm. is an evaluation speech. And fourth is table topic. Mm. So um, all these speeches, you have this uh, base level. You know, At first, you compete at the club level. Yes. Then you go to the area, division, district. So um, uh, I have uh, reached up to the division level mm -hmm. in um, in all the kind of two categories and four categories. So yes, at every stage, you kind of earn a trophy. Which is amazing. And you've accumulated a few now. Yes. yes. And because uh, uh, this Toastmaster is uh, basically, it's not like a corporate. Like in a corporate, you have a pyramid mm -hmm. where you have uh, staff is at the bottom. We'll have managers and general right. managers and you taper upwards. But in Toastmaster, the pyramid goes on the base. It's mm -hmm. upside down. Yes. So members are at the top and then there are the area directors whom we serve them, then mm -hmm. division, district and finally it's the headquarters. Mm -hmm. So basically we are all servant leaders who serve the members. So it's a very different system. So it's system. a give and take, you know, yes. whatever you learn, you can also give it back to the society. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, just from talking to you, we're more inclined towards the humorous, funny speeches. <laughs> Tell me about that. How did you get to that point? Yes, uh, coming to Toastmaster, mm -hmm. uh, they recognized my funny bone, which even I didn't know that I have a funny bone around somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an amazing experience because mm -hmm. uh, when I have given all the speeches, I know that of my humor scale, I have escalated a little more compared to other speeches. Mm -hmm. And uh, just recently on April uh, 2019, we had a, a stand-up comedy show here in Kuwait at Gust University and it was a major hit. In mm -hmm. fact, we are planning to have one more stand-up comedy show coming up and we are also going to invite uh, one of the stand-up comedian from outside Kuwait. And uh, there are other clubs who are organizing this uh, lovely contest. Like we have a ta tall tale contest coming up on mm -hmm. uh, October 11 and we have this folk tale and storytelling. So there are uh, many avenues where yes. you, can, you can explore yourself and you come to know your hidden talent which you have in you. So it could really give you a space to grow. Definitely, definitely. As a person, of course. How can uh, people people that are interested in Toastmasters actually join? What's the process and who can they contact? A anyone who would like to join Toastmasters, mm -hmm. there are two avenues. One, they can go to the website, which is district20toastmasters.org. Mm -hmm. Or they can just walk in as a guest mm. in any of the 70 clubs and they'll be more than welcome and they will know how basically we function as in the meeting. Yes. So they will get an idea about how to join Toastmaster and uh, live experience any day is better. So I would encourage them to walk in into any club that is nearby, reach mm. us in our website and we are there to help you. And is it for all uh, age groups or just certain uh, age groups? We have for uh, children, that is mm -hmm. called Gavel's Club, yes. which is up to the age of 16. Okay. After the age of 16, you can join in, in any of the club. And uh, yes, we have a minimum age limit, but we don't have maximum. You can, there is no stop to learning. Of you course. can always educate yourself, you can learn mm -hmm. and always become better and better. Right before we wrap up, is there any like inspirational stories that you'd like to share with us? Because I'm pretty sure you have come across a few. Definitely, you know, mm. not few, many actually. Mm. Uh, there was this one student who has just recovered from depression mm -hmm. and uh, he came on the stage and he just enthralled the audience mm -hmm. by his experience and of course he won at area and uh, he went up to the next level. So this is a platform where you can come and uh, you, you can speak out what is there within you. Mm -hmm. You can become a better person and um, this is a platform to build your self confidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, for my own incident as I told my second birth uh, which I had yeah. this vision kind of when I had told that uh, to people around me, believe me, they mocked at me saying that you are hallucinating, don't even think that you are seeing vision. Yes. But then it is recorded in the, safari, 
if you mm. go and Google it up, there is a near that experience which is there. And when I spoke about it in Toastmaster, it became one of the winning speeches. Amazing. So basically, uh, it gave me a voice to let out my own feelings. I think every human just needs that, especially with our busy lives uh, today and our society. You need Definitely. a place where you can let out your voice. Yeah. There is this panel mm. of people in Toastmasters who are above any kind of monetary gains, who are there to support you, to help you, and we need more of Toastmasters around here. Of course. For the society. That's such an inspirational story. Do you have any final uh, words or even a message that you'd like to give our viewers? Definitely. I would say join Toastmasters and fail. <laughs> Just like a toddler, you can fall and fail, fall and fail as many times. And we are here to lift you up. And soon you will realize that one day you are taking the first step, a second step, walking and of running. Course. And that day, you will, trust me, you will feel so happy because now you will mm -hmm. be in a position to help Perfect. those other members, yes. Thank you so, so much, uh, Mr. Bassam. It's been great having you with us on the so show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Uh, we had with us Mr. Bassam Ali, at the Toastmasters Area Director and a triple graduate in Commerce, Law and Education. We have reached the end of our episode tonight. I hope you enjoyed the interview segments and that majorly focused on the importance of art, self-expression and speech in today's society, as well as our various reports that always aim to keep you updated on the latest events and conferences here in Kuwait. I hope you have a good night and enjoy the upcoming weekend.